channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and diy decor today i'm going to show you how to make a floral runner for a beautiful garden theme wedding here we go Today I'm going to be making a garden theme wedding setup and this is going to consist of a beautiful floral runner. Let's get started. Alright guys, so for the base of my runner I am going to be using POTUS or POTUS stems. It's P-O-T-H-O-S stem and I got these from Walmart and they were $3 each. I am going to be using a few of these and I'm going to be connecting them together with floral wire that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make my uh, runner as long, or uh, the length of this table, which is eight feet long. I wish I could, you know, make it all the way to the ground, but that will be over the budget. So for eight feet, um, and with all of the materials that I bought, this is going to be about $53, $56. You can definitely make it cheaper if you buy cheaper flowers, like all flowers from Dollar Tree, but I have a combination of Dollar Tree flowers, um, Hobby Lobby, and uh, Walmart. But if I do get some of this left, um, and if you see that the, um, <laughs> the arrangement goes all the way to the ground, that means that, you know, I have something left, and that means that it's going to be more than $50, which is my budget. I don't like to make anything uh, more than 50 bucks and 53 56 is a little over All right, so let's just start putting this together as you can see the stem is pretty long and all you have to do is grab another stem and Then you are going to place the leaves or the greenery part right on top of the stem and then you are going to grab your wire and you are going to cut a piece of it and then you are going to tie the two together. And then I'm going to twist the wires together to secure it. I'm going to do the same right on this side. Hold both stems together and then you are just going to um, roll it around. And then you are going to twist them together to secure. Very easy. Now I'm going to do the same all the way down to the length of the table. So here I am at the point where I'm going to be placing the last stem to make it eight feet. And instead of placing my stem going this way, as so, I am going to do it the other way around so I can cover the entire stem. So I am going to place it right here, okay, right there, which means that I have to cut some of this, but you wanna leave a little bit of stem here so you're able to tie it down. Then you're gonna place it on there and tie it down. And I'm also going to tie it right here on this end. And I'm going to cut this piece of stem right here, it's unnecessary, so I'm going to cut it right about here. So this is the base of the runner, and these are seven stems which made the runner eight feet long. I am going to use another stem or two, which is going to make it nine, to make it a little more uh, thicker, okay? Because I see some spaces, like right there, and right there, where it could use a little more leaves. I'm just going to go ahead and cut little pieces like this, 
with my wire cutter and then I'm just going to basically do the same process and just use floral wire to connect it to the rest of the runner. So here it is, looking much more fuller and I'm very pleased with it. So now what I'm going to do, uh, it's break down the runner into different sections. Since the runner is eight feet long, I'm going to have four sections. So every other feet is going to have its own arrangement of flowers. And I'm going to start with this beautiful peonies from Dollar Tree. Let's see if it can focus. It's just so bright right here. All right, so it has a little bit of yellow in the inside. It's very pretty. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to find this um, Puny Dollar Tree right now because I got them some time ago. I just have to get rid of some of the flowers I have in my basement. I have a sea of flowers and <laughs> it's getting out of control. So I'm going to be using these because they are so pretty, but uh, you can use whatever flowers you will like. You can customize it to the color of your wedding or your event. Um, so don't marry to the colors I have or the types of flowers I have, okay? All up to you and your taste. So I am going to place four of these on my runner first, and then uh, I'll come back to tell you about the next. So since you guys already saw how I made the four sections with the white peonies on the runner, now what I'm going to do is make an arrangement per section so you guys can see the full arrangement in one section, which is going to be basically what I'm going to do on every section. So I didn't want to you know, drag it along, so I'm just going to do one, okay? So my next flower is going to be this beautiful dahlia that I got from Walmart. This were $2 a stem. And I'm going to be cutting this one one inch long as well. Next, I'm going to be using pink roses from Hobby Lobby. These were 50% uh, off of $12.99, so I paid about $6.50 for this bouquet. And I'm going to be using two individual roses. So I'm just going to pull them off the stem. Also going to be using white roses from Hobby Lobby. It's basically the same bouquet only in white. I'm also going to use green hydrangeas from Dollar Tree and these are a dollar <laughs> and I'm just going to pull off a little flower from the stem and I'm going to place it right in between here to break down the colors a bit. I'm going to add another white rose on this side so it can balance it out a little better. So this is pretty much how an individual arrangement is going to look on the runner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other three. I'm going to add more green hydrangeas to the middle of the arrangement right here. So on all of them, I'm gonna add more green hydrangeas on there and I'm also going to add some to the end of the arrangement on this end and at the other end. To make the arrangement look fuller, I think I'm also going to add green hydrangeas in between arrangements right here in the middle. I'm going to place the rest of the pink roses I have left on my bouquet right next to the green hydrangeas in the middle. I'm going to use the rest of the white ones right around the same area as well. So I picked up a few of these decorative butterflies from Dollar Tree and I'm thinking of using them on the runner or maybe on the setup, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna have to wait until everything is set up. So I may or may not use them, but I wanted to um, show you and um, look at that, very pretty. And um, if you see them, I just wanted you to know where I got them from if you're not familiar with Dollar Tree. 
All right, guys, this is it. This is my floor runner for my garden theme wedding setup. And this is so, so easy to make, guys. I guess the most important thing for you guys to know is that you can get this potu stems. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> you can get greenery and pretty much just, you know, um, put them together or tie them together as your base and then you can place whatever flowers you guys find on sale or whatever flowers you guys are going to have for your event or your wedding. Totally up to you. Love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my floor runner or my garden theme setup. And leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, 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 share. Sharing is caring. If you know someone who's having a wedding, I would just love to have a floor runner just because. Make sure to share on your social media page. Until next time, bye.